What is up mate? This is a working signaling system in Minecraft. Um, I'm going to explain how this, what is supposed to do first. So basically the rails are divided into block sections and there's only one train allowed in each block section at any time. But you also need spacing in between the trains so that they can't collide even if they run a red light. So we're going to jump into a minecart over here and I'm going to show how it works in practice. Once we reach the first block section, the signal is going to turn red guarding that block section. Once we reach the second block section, the first signal is going to stay red because we need spacing in between the trains. But once we reach the third block section, we already have some spacing in between the trains. So the first block section is going to stop illuminating red. And once we reach the final block section, the second block section is also going to stop illuminating red. And only this block section and the block se section before it is going to keep staying red. And now we are guarded at this station. So if we would come in a train over here and we run up to this red light and run past it, in real life the emergency brakes would apply and stop the train before it enters the block section that is occupied. So that's why you need the spacing in between because if the train was parked over here just past this block section and we come over here and this signal is actually green and we reach this one, we run past the red light, we would, we would crash anyways even though the emergency brakes applies we wouldn't be stopped in time if you want uh, if you want to do it the easy way and just want one light to illuminate at a time and not two lights you don't want the spacing in between the trains uh, the only thing you need to do is put out some sensor rails and put out some redstone uh, at the side and make it go into the closest signal and it's as easy as that but if you want two lights to illuminate, you have to do it in a special way. First off, uh, the thing I have to say is that these red lights are actually just a retexture of the redstone lamps. So you can actually make your own red signals very easily. So when we reach the second block section, we need two lights to be illuminated. So the first one is simple. Redstone goes over here, goes into the red light. It just goes around over here, there's a repeater, it goes inside the block and it, then we have red light. And the reason this is divided is because if uh, this wasn't divided by a gap, if a minecart would be over here in the first block section, the second block section would get illuminated early. And that's not what we want. So if we put the redstone over here, as you can see, this doesn't work. Put the minecart back over here. We need the first light to illuminate as well. So that's why we have a branch over here in the middle that goes into repeater and then just continues over here. It ignores the gap and continues over here. It's a separate wire and it goes into the first signal as well. So far it's pretty easy, but once we get into the third block section, we, we reach a problem. And the problem with this block section over here is that uh, if this wire would continue and go into here to continue to this signal. The problem would be that it would be a, a longer circuit. It would, it, would, it would actually reach the first signal as well. So all signals would be uh, lit at the same time. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to put out some redstone over here. I actually need a repeater as well because the current doesn't reach through. And we put some redstone over here. And what happens is that all three signals illuminate, and that's not what we want. So we're going to remove this. So you have to make a new wire at a whole new layer. So this wire actually goes further out and it avoids the second wire over here and the first wire. It's a completely separate wire and it goes into a staircase and the stairs goes into the second signal and this way only the, the third and the second signal will illuminate and the first signal will stop illuminating. We put the train into the final block section. We want the uh, final block section to be red and the block section before it to be red as well but not the other two block sections. And it's the same thing over here 
but you need to go even further out. You need a completely new layer, you need a completely separate wire. So this wire goes even further out, it avoids all the other wires, it goes on the side over here, and then it goes into a longer staircase, and it goes into the signal over here. So basically, the, the more block sections you have on a railway, the further out the wire needs to be. So if you have like 15 block sections, well the wires are going to be far out. I don't know if there is a better way to avoid this problem, uh, maybe there is, this is the method that I learned. What I could recommend is if you want to make a long railway, uh, instead of having 15 blocks in between the block sections like I have over here, it's maybe much better to have like 100 or 200 blocks between each block section. And you need repeaters for this wire over here if you're going to do that. So these wires actually need to go further out so you can put out the uh, repeaters and still get current through. So the reason I tried to do this system is because I had a neat dream yesterday where I dreamt that I had a private railway in my backyard. Yeah, with a working signaling system and, and everything. And in the dream I was very excited to play around with the signaling system and see how the signals react and uh, abuse the safety system basically and uh, I actually got kind of curious if I could make a signaling system like uh, in real life in Minecraft and of course there's only one light, uh, just a red light but I think that is enough. doing this with more lights would probably require mods and stuff uh, to do this simple system you don't need any mods it works fine anyways